Um, okay, cool. So we're going to do like a coffee spill, and then we're going to turn it into this old-fashioned ship. Um, this is one I made yesterday, but it, this coffee wasn't very strong. It was like a plunger coffee. So we're going to use your, use your coffee. I'm going to give mine a bit of a stir like this. Nice and strong, eh? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a little, a little splash out here on the paper. Not too much. Not the whole thing. Just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Okay, awesome. <laughs> cool. Nice. So, a little wee splash. And then, we're going to turn it into something using our brush. Cool. <laughs> Did it work out? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, parents, if I'm making a mess in your house. Um, that's alright. Okay, now, mine splashed out sideways, so I'm going to turn my paper like this. And then I'm going to work um, this way. Okay, great. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to we're going to draw our ship out of the coffee just like that. We're going to leave the splash as it is. Well, I just turned my page because it was more sideways. And what I want you to do is just dip into here, and we're going to start by doing the um, bottom of the ship. Okay, so decide where your ship comes up to. And you should just be able to paint with your, um, with a little brush. Now, if you don't have a little brush, you could do this with a toothpick or a, um, something like that. Something really small like that, okay? So, draw. And then you just grab a little bit of the coffee and just drag it up. And it should fill in that space like that. See how it's filled in the space? And then, okay, cool. So from there, we're going to draw the mast first. So I'm going to start up here. Nice. So the middle mast. Then the front one's a little bit lower. And same with the back one. And there's a little baby one at the back. So those are our three and a bit masts. Then... What we're going to do then is we'll work our way from the middle. So the middle one has like this big kind of mass, a big kind of sail on it. Now, I don't know the names of all these sails, but some one of you guys might know. Okay. So you have the sails are kind of a little bit shaped angular. They're kind of curving a bit, eh? Just dipping in down here using your um, the coffee as a little palette. Okay, and then I made didn't make my mask quite big enough. Just do one little wee baby cell at the top. You guys finding this okay? Yeah? Nice, cool. Okay, so carry on at the front as well. Similar, starting at the bottom with like a big wide one. Keep dipping in your paint. Don't draw any of the ropes yet, because we want to do that last. We'll do that with a little, like, really fine lines if we can. Okay. Now, do you see at the front... Um, actually, no, no, sorry. We'll finish the sails. So at the back, we've got, like, this kind of weird rectangle-shaped one. And then these two little triangle sails. Just like that. Okay. Um, now, at the very front, we've got this like long pole that comes out. So it's like, you know how on a ship, it's like they've got that long pole. So draw that one. And then attached to that pole is like this big kind of triangle sail. which comes down, down, and it curves like that. And there's another one actually behind it as well, curving. Okay. Yeah, see, my paper's starting to go a bit crazy because it's um, this is just drawing paper. It's not painting paper. So yeah, if you do, if you really like this, do it again, but do it on real thick paper this next time. 
Um, now we're going to try and do some um, of the the ropes. So the ropes, you just need to get a little bit of, um, hopefully get a small brush, get a little bit of the um, coffee, and start at this this top one here, kind of curls down like that, and the other way too. Just basically copy the ropes that you can see on this this example picture. They sort of come down. Where else? There's lots of them, eh? Lots of like overlapping ones back there. Oh yeah, there's one from here all the way down to the front. Cool. Try not to overdo it with the ropes. Just do a few connecting up the different different parts of the ship. Oh, your brush is too big, Emma. Yeah. Have you got like, can you get like a toothpick or... You could even do this with a fork, I think. Just using one of the teeth of a fork. Um, yeah, if you're getting a bit tired, make sure you keep snacking on that chocolate. Mmm, that's good. Okay, um, now, we want to do a couple little flags. So see how there's a flag at the back? The way you do that is you just start off with your brush here. We'll do it at the top of this, this bit here, eh? Press a bit thicker at the start, and then curl back to a point. And I just put my hand in the coffee. Nice. My mistake. I'm going to give mine three flags just because I want to. All right. Okay. That looks good to me. That's pretty much the end of our ship drawing.